137016. Most of you are probably familiar with the game of golf and probably know what this is. I'm going to toss this around, so here you go. And I'll let you guys um, feel around on that and examine kind of what you guys think of it. What is golf anyway? Well, that's what I'm going to tell you guys today. Based on what you just seen there, it's a little bit confusing as to what the ball feels like and as to what just happened there. And these are the main points I'm going to cover today. Where does this ball, golf ball come from? What's the original golf ball design? The evolution of the golf ball and the modern day golf ball. Now, according to GolfSmith.com, the original golf ball dates all the way back to the 1400s. <coughs> now, back then, they didn't have the, the technology we have now. And so they actually had a wooden ball that they used, just hollow, looked something like that, and uh, had excellent ball flight when you, sh when you hit it with your club properly. Excellent ball flight. But it wore down pretty quickly. So then, it evolved into something called the Fevieri, and it was a leather sack filled with wet goose feathers. And it actually flew better than the hollow wooden golf ball. And uh, it lasted a little bit longer, and it was really expensive, though. It actually became a rich man's game because it was so expensive. And so, you know, that, that still pretty much stands today. <laughs> um, so then it moves to the 1800s, where it became more of a common man's game because they were able to uh, produce the golf balls with rubber. The rubber, according to GolfSmith.com, was melted down and poured into a mold to form the golf ball. They discovered that the round golf balls, the, the completely round all the way across it, did not fly as far as the ones that have the indentions or the dimples on the face. Okay. So what you see on that ball now is still coming back from the 1800s where the, the indentions make the ball go further and it creates a more um, aerodynamic surface for the golf ball to fly. The modern day golf ball for most companies that produce golf balls have a rubber or synthetic rubber core all, all the way on the inside of it and then it's placed into an injection mold where they cover it just like with a, uh, a hard film over top of that. And, um, and then the ball is glossed and then stamped and ready to go. And you see there is, uh, I think that may be Nike the way they, um, the way they form their balls. And um, so there is my presentation. All right. Let's give Chris some feedback. How do we do on time? Well, we need two seconds.